So my number one was probably the biggest surprise to me yeah. that it made it anywhere near the top, let alone being number one. Um, and JT, I know you try to keep language on this uh, channel pretty PG, I think, but I physically I think I know where you're going this. with this. But go on, I know um, where you're going with this. My number one is actually Demi Lovato's uh, latest rock album, Holy Fuck. Just say it. Just you, you could. I, you, I it's, really you know, she. You already said it. Someone, <laughs> I already said it, JT. It's done. Uh, <laughs> it's done. It's when, done. When she announced that she was going to be doing a rock record, I just anticipated. Well, this is going to be another Machine Gun Kelly or any of those other new wave of pop punk artists. She's going to just start doing pop rock, pop punk. That's not what we got. This is actually a legitimate rock record. Yes, there is some pop punk on it. There's also some things that borderline that hit borderline hard rock down to sometimes a bit of a metal uh, aesthetic and sound to it. And I was impressed, completely blown away uh, throughout the entire thing. There's not a low point on the album. There's a couple of great ballads very emotional songs on it as well and the songs that hit hard really hit hard again she didn't much like the other uh albums on here that i mentioned that had features that worked well every feature on this worked very well even artists that i don't like they all worked very well um first song is a feature from young blood i do think he's the probably the only downfall of the song but even he doesn't sound bad it's still a pretty decent feature the there's a feature toward the end one of my favorite songs actually it's called help me features dead sarah <laughs> really good feature never heard of them before went back listened to them not a fan of their original stuff uh, which is fine royal and the serpent also features on one of the tracks the just the variety of sounds throughout the record and the just amount of care that went into it that you could tell and like passion i was blown away her vocals are incredible you know back when she first started she did do like pop rock before she went completely pop but it was never like this this is actual hard rock it has really grew like some of the songs have really like groovy elements to it very earwormy and very passionate. Uh, I hope she continues like this. I have a feeling she will. I don't really see her doing much of the pop stuff anymore, if we're going to be honest. And this is coming from someone that was a fan of some of her pop singles. Uh, she was never an album artist for me, but you know, I always enjoyed her songs for the most part. But this one, it, it really surprised me. If you told me at the beginning of the year that this would have been my top i would be like no there's no way but here we are i can't get enough of it i come back to it constantly whether it's the whole record just putting on a song here or there it's really blew me away 100 percent number one oh damn mike how are you gonna follow that up i i can't follow i mean there she is and all her demi Lovato Auto glory. I mean, I just, I just can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, yeah, I'm separating the uh, the art from the artist on this one. The art from the art. <laughs> yeah, like I, uh, I got to be honest on that. The past couple of years, she's been pretty insufferable. If we're going to be honest, <laughs> just trying to stay relevant. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Incredible. I love, that. I love that word. By the way, insufferable. It's well, well said, Kyle. Well said. <laughs> insufferable. <laughs>